Uh, doing it on your own, it poses a number of challenges, both logistically and from a price standpoint. Hey guys, welcome back. Caleb Nelson with Electric Import Motors. I'm standing right next to the uh, 2021 Pacquiac, uh, which is the Chang Lee truck. I've got the 2021 brand new model, uh, Chang Lee, which we call the Grunt. You can check it out on our websites. Um, uh, we, uh, we get common questions all the time about, it's a $900 car for this. Uh, why is it costing uh, what it says on your website. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you right now, the price that you're seeing on Alibaba and that you see you know, in articles and whatnot, calling this a $900 car is not the full picture. Um, I would love for it to be a $900 car. I'd love for these cars to be everywhere in the US. I think that they're so cool and so fun. Um, I wanna see them uh, more frequently than we do. Uh, and part of the challenge of it being $900 is anybody that's tried to order one on their own, they've faced a number of challenges and you can go, don't take my word for it, go search online, uh, go read electric.co, uh, their uh, recent article on bringing in uh, the Chang Lee truck and some of the challenges that were there. Uh, doing it on your own, it poses a number of challenges both logistically and from a price standpoint. Yes, from the factory, the base model without any batteries or anything bells and whistles on it at all is not $900, but it's about $1,200 for the base model here. That means that they are manufacturing it for $1,200. That does not include getting it all the way to your house in wherever'sville, USA, so that you can enjoy it with you and your family. That is a whole other different piece of this that a lot of people don't fully understand. And this is a video to talk a little bit about what fees you're going to encounter and why uh, Electric Import Motors does such a good job taking that off your plate um, and making sure that you understand that this is not a price gouging situation by any means. This is just you not fully understanding the, the bigger picture, which is from the factory, $1,200 here is not what you're going to pay at the end of the day. This is the feedback that we're typically getting from customers that try to order it on their own. Um, and, and that is, number one, it gets stuck in customs. That's the most common issue that we have. In fact, we get emails almost every day from people that say, hey, look, I didn't order this from you, but can you help? It's stuck in customs and I can't get it out. Or my buddy ordered one and it's stuck in customs. I saw your videos. Can you help get it out of, out of customs? Once it's done and the paperwork's already established, a third party like Electric Import Motors can't come in and unstuck a shipment out of customs. That needed to be done beforehand. And what it comes down to is proper paperwork and knowing what you're getting yourself into because they will not let these into the United States unless the paperwork is done properly on it or you will be hit with a massive fee, which sucks. We're, our goal is to help avoid that, do all the paperwork for you, make sure they get into the United States properly and okay and be in a good spot so you can enjoy them. The second part that we often hear is help, I ordered on my own and uh, it came damaged. Damage, I, I don't have like no statistic on this, but I, I, I bet if you order on your own, you've got like a 70% chance of it arriving damaged in, in one shape or another, whether it's a dent in the door or broken glass. In fact, the first Chang Lee we ever ordered, which is the generation one, we didn't order a whole container of them. We ordered one, just like any other person out there would do. And it arrived with two broken windows and a completely smashed and damaged pallet. Uh, you've got some video on that uh, that we'll upload here, but it was no bueno. The purpose of what we do is we're ordering in bulk. And when you order in bulk, it means that the entire container is ours. It means that it is properly packaged and secured uh, in a single container with other Changlis so that we know it's not gonna jostle around. If it jostles around, we know it's packaged right so it doesn't get bumped or dinged. And when you're sharing a container with 
somebody else's freight, uh, it could be tractor tires, it could be um, a anything metal that scra uh, scratches or bumps up against it. And if you think a boat going across the ocean uh, and being unloaded and offloaded a number of times, that thing is going to get jostled around a lot. That's why damage when you order it as a single standalone is not like you're ordering from Amazon. This is not uh, two-day prime shipping that you're also going to get too. Uh, so damage happens a lot when you order them alone. When we bulk them together, we can control that and make sure that it's um, arriving as damage-free as possible. If it does arrive damaged, Electric Import Motors takes care of it, and we'll do our best to be able to make sure that that's done properly. Talking about fees, the $1,200 that you're going to see online on Alibaba.com is not $1,200 that you're going to pay. Trust me. The twenty-two or twenty-three hundred that you're going to see on Alibaba for the tr uh, the Pakyak truck is not going to be that. Trust me. In fact, uh, don't take my word for it. Electrek.co. I'll put a link down in the description. They ordered one on their own. Uh, guy thought uh, a two thousand dollar truck sounded really cool on Alibaba. Um, he ended up paying seven thousand, almost eight thousand dollars to bring this in. Um, it's on our website for $8,500. Plus, you don't have to do any of the paperwork, any of the duties or customs or taxes, uh, and you don't run the risk of it getting stuck in, in customs. Um, the uh, Chang Li, you're going to see it 1200 1250 That comes base. You have to add batteries and anything else that you want. Ours come pretty much fully loaded. Um, and with duties and taxes and customs, you're going to be paying upwards of $4,000, uh, maybe $5,000 in current rate shipping rates right now. So here's a couple of fees that you're going to pay for, and I'm just going to list them off. You've got pickup, uh, pickup fee in China to pick up the, uh, the, the actual car. You have AMS filing, origin documentation fee, origin customs clearance, origin local charges to get it moved out of the country of China. Then you have your ocean costs for either a, a less than container load, if you're ordering one, or a full container load. You have customs entry fee, handling, ISF filing fees, peer pass traffic uh, mitigation fee, chassis rental fee. The chassis rental is the truck uh, that the container sits on. So once it gets offloaded at the port, destination to a warehouse where it gets broken out. You have a warehouse transload fee. That's just to get it from China to the US soil. That does not include getting it to um, uh, your house or anywhere else. And that does not include, uh, if you, you heard me, I didn't include anything with duties or taxes. So uh, you have a CFS charge, you have a pay cargo fee, and then you have your duties and taxes. So duties paid to US customs, customs entry fee and a courier fee in order to get the paperwork done. It's for any shipment that is brought into the United States. Guys, this isn't a one on 101 on the, the Chang Li grunt or you know the Pakyak Chang Li truck. This is a one on one on shipping. And uh, based off of a lot of comments that we're seeing, a lot of you haven't, uh, it's clear, haven't brought in product before and know exactly what's going on or what it takes to be able to do it. And the last thing you want to do is learn from mistakes of bringing it in on your own because you will have problems with it. I'm not done with the fees yet. You also have to um, bring it from the warehouse of the port of wherever the port that is, whether it's Long Beach or Houston or New Jersey to your actual house. And you've got that uh, transit that's there. Um, and that includes a container drop fee, a chassis split repositioning fee, and a chassis removal fee. And then you pay for the container, once it's been offloaded, to move back. Guys, what you see on Alibaba is not the full story. Um, take our word for it. If, if you don't want to take our word for it, do some research online. Um, bringing these cars in, it, it, you will not bring them in for what you see on Alibaba, and you won't bring them in for just the shipping charges that you think it would be. Um, also, the last thing is shipping charges because of COVID and because of the supply chain mess that we're in right now has gone through the roof. Uh, you'll see those shipping charges fluctuate as time goes on. But as of right now, 
shipping charges are up six to seven X. So six or seven times the amount that they were uh, same time last year. We love these cars. If you're watching these videos, chances are you're interested in them and you like them too. Check out the website, Electric Import Motors. Again, we take care of all of this for you so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and yes, uh, there is a amount where we get paid. We are a business and uh, we are doing a service to bring them straight to you. We hope that uh, you check us out, you trust us, and you place an order with us. Uh, we will do our absolutely best and you have my personal guarantee that we're going to get either your truck or your car to you, to your door. Um, in not only the, the shape uh, of uh, making sure it's in good condition, but the color you ordered with all the features that you ordered in a timely manner with no headache or no paperwork. We'll take care of all that for you. Check us out at electricimportmotors.com. Um, link is in the description down below. And if you want to see more of this content, uh, click uh, subscribe, make a comment uh, below 